I sat on the beach with my children and I saw a woman coming out of the water and she looked strong and proud. And I thought of myself and what I wanted to do with my life. And I saw myself as that woman breaking through. You know, it takes a lot of courage to leave your life behind, to start a new life, not knowing what it's gonna to bring to you. I was living in suburbia and married, and I was thinking this really wasn't the life I wanted to live. I thought I would wanna be a full-time artist and I wanted to um, get divorced. So to me, that was very frightening. And in the sculpture, Catalina, where she broke through, she has no arms. And you don't know if you'll be whole when you get there. You don't know, but in her face, which is proud, as if um, she made it, I wanted to give the feeling that I was gonna make it, no matter what, so, you know, against all odds. I am commenting on what a woman had to break through. Don't forget this was the early 80s. Especially in art, it was very lopsided. Only two women had a solo show at the Met and they were both over 90. It was very hard for a woman to achieve anything in the field of art. I did a sculpture called Cocoon. A woman enclosed in herself because women, I thought, have to go within to find who they really are. A man goes to the outside to achieve, but women have to go to the inside first and then break through. Art is a personal struggle, which is also joy. To me, without the challenge and the struggle, it would be boring. I could do a very simple sculpture, but I don't really care for that. I want to do something that says more and more. I am struggling and concentrating so hard on what I'm doing that I don't see my personal success. I only see the immediate sculpture that I'm striving to create. I'm one of those artists that actually likes to do the art. I like to get dirty. I like to be sanding and grinding and sculpting and changing the angles and changing the anatomy around. And I work all day at the computer doing all sorts of the business of art, as I call it. And sometimes at the end of the day, um, my husband will call me and say, when are you coming home? And I'll say, I didn't start my art yet. And maybe five o'clock, I'll go into my painting room and I'll start to paint. And that's when I find my fulfillment. And that's when I find that I'm doing my art and I'm happy. She looks peaceful and she looks courageous. And she looks happy that she's made the right decision. Where 
know what I mean without art? Art is me, and I am art. I couldn't be me, so I wouldn't be any place. I'd be lost.